Well, we're joined now by Linda Bellos, a veteran gay rights and feminist activist. Welcome to the show. Uh, first of all, what is your reaction to this review? I'm relieved. I've been um, following the developments over the last two or three years, and I've been very, very distressed, I think. I, I really would put it as strongly as distressed by what is happening to young people. I, I don't believe that this gender thing is any it is real. And by the way, um, your viewers might look at me and think, I look like a man. Well, actually, I'm a woman, a mother, a grandmother, a great grandmother. And yesterday I was uh, I was called sir three times. So I'm, I saw su I am subject to this some of this stuff around gender. Um, I have been all my life. I am proud to be a woman. I can't, I'm not going to put makeup on or stuff, stuff, girly stuff. I just ne don't like it, never have. I'm a proud lesbian and I kind of look like one, but I wish I wasn't called sir. And yet <laughs> here are young women being encouraged to be men. Why can't we just be all the things we are? Linda, I, I'm I, glad. I... I really appreciate you coming on. I just want to put something to you, and, and my yeah. opinion is not as deep set, perhaps, as others. Um, I try and always bring it back to the fact I've got kids. Um, I noticed yeah. in this report they talked about the pressure on medical professionals. Um, I want to ask you a question that I asked everybody, and they will look at me slightly madly. Um, I absolutely accept that people will believe that they're... Uh, they want to change gender, they want to transition. Personally, I think it should be a detailed process, lots of psychological care. I think it should be a time thing. I think it should be taken over a long period of time with parents and whatever else. Do you believe, and you were very honest about yourself, that we now live in a society where... Oh, God, and I never... Nick, help me out. It, it sounds like I'm trivialising it. I'm not. Are we looking at yeah. kids who are sheep now, Linda, who think everybody else is doing it? I told the story about my daughter's school. 30 kids started, and within six months, 11 of them were questioning their gender. Is it because yeah. that's the latest thing? I'm not disrespecting people, but it's something that concerns me. I really want to ask that yeah. question of you. I, I tend to agree with you. I've been a lesbian feminist for, well, 40 years. I've seen this happen only in this way in the last five to seven years. It wasn't happening. Many of my trans friends didn't have the kind of pressures that are being made now. For uh, And I, a lot of, a lot of uh, doctors seem to be getting a lot of money from, from doing these terrible things to young people. I don't have a problem with, a, with an adult person identifying in a gender, I don't even like the word, but a gender different to the one that they were, uh, uh, that they grew up, grew up with and they were born with. I don't have a problem in principle. I, I might be a bit critical, but, you know, a person's right as an adult mm. to reassign their gender is their right. It doesn't, what, my, my, what I think is neither here nor there. But a child is a wholly different matter. As a society, I do not think that this country should be, or indeed any country, should be encouraging, particularly girls, um, but, but likewise boys. I've got so a son and a daughter, and I have grandchildren. I have even a great-grandchild. I'm, I'm coming from a God, place... God, you're old woman. What's yeah. going on? I've, I've got I'm, grandchildren I'm in as well. i 70s, mate. Well, I'm there. All right, mate. All She's right, giving mate. you a run for your money. <laughs> Linda... Great. Linda. Great. What, what would you yes. say then to the fact that this is often a topic that dominates the news agenda, isn't it? It's something that's mm. so often even debated at Prime Minister's questions. And yet there are fewer than 100 children in the UK who are being prescribed puberty blockers, which is really at the core of this story that we're discussing today. Some of those children as well being prescribed puberty blockers are cis children, non-trans children. Why do you think it is, considering it affects such a small proportion of people, that it is something that dominates the news agenda? Why do I think it is? Well, it's fashionable. Um, and I think that, I mean, it's, this is not entirely new. I, I've been watching it uh, develop over the last, uh, t I don't know how many years, five, six, no, not, not, as, not as long as six, but certainly five, four, three. And it's, it's been getting worse, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the emphasis, it, there were, it used to be an emphasis of boys wanting to identify as girls. 
the new stuff, particularly because it impacts upon um, the possibility of having children later, for example, you can't kind of reverse having a hysterectomy. Or, and, and that's one of the things that's happening to young women, that their, their breasts, their, their, all their female parts are removed by these treatments. Linda, do you know, when... I think the most interesting thing, and, and it's interesting to hear your, your view on this, and maybe it's different to what I thought, I think we have to acknowledge as a society, which I think this report does, that we can't just sweep stuff like this under the carpet. We need to talk about it, but we need to talk about it without, you know, being accused yeah. of being having transphobia. We need to make sure that yeah. kids... I love your word fashionable, and a lot. I'm, I didn't think you'd say that because a, a lot of people say to me, "Oh, but you can't say." No, no, I can say that because it should be such an important thing to happen that it should be yeah. thought through and dealt with in the right way over a period of time. And I don't think a medical professional giving puberty blockers or a school teacher dealing with it. It's got to be a whole. But process. I think we're, we're certainly whole not. Process. Yes, there, there does need to be a whole process, but at the same time, we do have to acknowledge that there are children who genuinely feel. Uh, gender dysphoria and feel yep. extreme distress. And they, need be, they need to be discouraged from feeling gender. They, I, I, I would really honestly say that every child should be free to be all of the things they are. Yes. There are disabled children. There are black children. You, I mean, we're, we, we come in all shapes and sizes. I want a world, which is why I care about equality. Yeah. I want a world in which all of us, whatever we are, Whoever, however we look, are of equal value. And we're encouraged to I, I, accept I, I, who we are as, as a person. I guess the debate comes we with We don't saying, have to change then. Yeah. We don't have to change our body. You scared yeah. me then, you came <laughs> forward. I thought you were going to attack me. But this, it, this is no, where the debate no, is, no, isn't it? It's, it's, only verbally. It's what is, really? what is acceptance. Some people would say, would say, you know, you should accept yourself for who you are as, as you were kind of born. Whereas there is another argument to say that people are born different to, to who they are you, on the inside. So it's where you stand on that then, debate. Do you know what, Linda, to finish well, it, I think I think it's really important that we have the debate. I think it's a very contentious issue, and I think that's the point. It cannot get to a point where we're too scared to talk about this for fear of upsetting somebody. I think you're absolutely well, right. Uh, but let an adult, a child, a child grow to be an adult, then they're in, entitled to take whatever view, whether I like it or not. But. They're children. We are talking about children. Linda Bellows, I've got to let you go, but you've you've been okay. you've been amazing and great grandmother, seventy. Uh, yeah. No, I'm seventy four. How old do you think I am? Uh, about twenty three. <laughs> you can get, come out, get off. See you later. What a <laughs> Thank liar. Thank you so much, a feminist <laughs> activist and gay rights campaigner.